Hi, it's Mr. Dang, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your apps so that you know that it's working. Let's say you have some a simple app or maybe even a complicated app. If you want to know it's working, you're going to need to build in some uh, labels, some text, uh, to show that things are actually working the way that you want. Maybe you want to see the actual value of a variable, or maybe you want to trigger an action behind the scenes that you couldn't do before. Uh, in these examples, I have uh, two of my more complicated apps, one about solitaire and another one with turn-based combat, and I wanted to know uh, when it was working, uh, if a card was being triggered um, or if a certain uh, action was actually being detected. Uh, so this tutorial is going to show you how you can make your very own debugging panel. To get started, open up the sample app, click on the tutorial for setup. At the bottom right corner you'll see instructions. We're going to be making a canvas to store all of the controls and we're going to use an icon to show and hide it, but you can't add a canvas directly to a screen so we're going to use another screen to create it. Now I'm going to go through all of the instructions first, uh, some of the big instructions, and then we're going to actually run through it. We'll insert a screen. We'll go to that screen. We're going to rename the canvas. It's always a good practice to rename your objects. We'll cut it. We'll paste it into the screen that we want it. Let's get started. Click Insert. Scrollable screen. This creates a screen that already has a canvas. We'll start by renaming it to Canvas Debug. Now press Ctrl X to cut it. Go to the screen where we want it. Paste it with Ctrl V. It's blocking everything right now, so we're going to need to resize it. Hold the corner, or you could use a relative uh, measurement. Now, the way this tutorial works is uh, when you navigate back to the screen, you have to run through the tutorial steps again because it resets. Okay, so we resized it. Next, we're going to change the color so that we know the, uh, the debugging panel is actually working. So we change the fill by going to Home, Fill. And I like either black or white, but we want it to be opaque so that we could see through it. 50% is good. We can add controls later, like toggles, text. Let's add the icon now. I'm going to choose an icon that uh, I'm willing to click, uh, and it should represent something about settings or tools. Um, in the latest update in Power Apps, the team added quite a few more uh, options for you in the icons. Um, so go ahead and select either Tools, Wrench, Settings Gear, whatever one you prefer. Now, I like to keep this icon in the bottom left-hand corner, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to move it uh, in a visible area so that you can see. You can really place it anywhere you like, whatever your preference is. We'll rename it. Now, I should probably mention that the reason why I use a canvas instead of a group is that groups can't be, that don't have universal properties and they kind of block other objects in the screen. Next, we want to use a formula to turn it into a button. Um, what this does is uh, anytime that you click this button, it's going to change the variable debug to true. If the variable is already true, it'll make it false. Now that we have the formula for the button, we're going to change the canvas itself to only be visible whenever that variable is true. So for visible, we'll put debug. When debug is true, the canvas will show up. When it's false, it'll be invisible. Next, we want the icon to only be visible if the administrator is using it. So for the visible property, we're going to change it to user.email. So 
and then whatever your email is or any kind of indicator on who's going to be allowed to use it. So pretty much what we've created is a button that toggles a debugging panel that's only visible to select users and administrators. Finally, test it out. Click play, click your icon, and it should show up. Overall, you'll greatly benefit from organizing all of your controls uh, behind the scenes into one neat panel.